Hi guys, welcome back. So, here I got some new fish. Daniels, zebra Daniels, and I got some shrimp. Some ghost shrimp. So the shrimp are... Where are they at? Okay, well, I don't know where they are, but... Let's see if we can find them. Will you look at the fish? Oh, okay, I found one. So right back there. See them? And actually, they're both back there. That's worse, but I don't know if you can see them. So one's on the on the brick, one's right on the ground. One's right there, and one's on the brick. Right there. Right there, right there. So, yeah, that's them. Now, the real video, I'm going to be showing you how to grow citrus from seed. So these seeds right here, I collected myself the other day. They are a red grapefruit. So if you can't plant them right away, you got to put them with a little bit of water because they have a shell on them. And if it dries out, it's almost impossible to peel off. So I actually have a tripod now. So what you're going to do is you're going to get the seeds out. They're going to be slippery. There you go. Um, you're going to just pat them dry a little bit. It's okay if there's moisture on the paper towel because you're going to be using that anyways. So you just want to kind of roll them around to dry them. No. You want to get your fingernail and there's a side that has a little bit of skin hanging up and you want to use that side. You got to put your fingernail in until you peel away that outer casing. And then once you start that, the seed inside you'll notice is going to be completely dry. Because no water can get through that casing and that's why you have to take it off. And now there's other ways to do this without taking it off, but for me, this way works the best. So yeah. So you got to take them off. So once it's off, you'll see there's a seed like that inside. And it kind of looks like a popcorn seed, and that's what you want. It's going to be a seed like that. So do the same for all of them. Now this is going to be pretty much a raw video. There's going to be no editing really. Or well no like... Oh, sorry. No clips like that are added. It's only one piece. Not combining clips. So I'm not fast forwarding nothing. Because I'm almost done. I only had three seeds. Which is okay because, oops, I dropped it. The majority of them will sprout, so it's okay to only have three seeds. Alright, so now with that wax, I'm just going to collect all of it. I'm going to put it back in the bag so I can throw it out. No, I, I couldn't find any snack size Ziploc bags. Okay, so that's why I'm using this container, which is from Swiss Chalet. So what you're going to want to do is moisten the paper towel. And I know it's gross, but I use toilet paper water 
or not, oh, sorry, not <laughs> toilet paper water. No, I use turtle water. I don't even know where turtle toilet paper water thing came from. But yeah, so the seeds are going to be dry. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll edit out that bit. Or I said toilet paper water. No. I don't use toilet paper water. Toilet water for starting seeds. No, that would kill them. Turtle water, on the other hand, it would have um, more goodness than, like, more good than bad. It would, it's good for them. I find I water my plants with it, and it, they, it's like fertilizer, right? So, you're gonna want to line this with the paper towel, okay? Right? You want to get your seed, drop them in, alright? And it will take about, I'd say, a week, two weeks to sprout. So you want to pop that in. Press it down, make sure there's a good contact with the seeds. Okay. There you go. Close it. And leave it for two weeks and forget about it. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. Be sure to subscribe, and see you in the next video.